Alright guys, it's Westy here, back again today with a quick tip video on how to get the best out of the new scavenger mode on Battlefield 3 Aftermath. I'm just going to be giving you a few tips on how to work the game mode to your advantage and in general, be more successful in the game mode. Okay, so tip number one has to be your handgun choice. Now you need to make sure that this is a good choice for your game style. So uh, if you think about it, the handgun that you choose is going to be the first weapon that you fire in the game because you're most li likely to encounter um, an enemy with that weapon in your hand. Now my own personal choice is the Rex because it's a balance between rate of fire and power. Another good choice is probably the Magnum because it's extremely powerful at pretty much any range. Um, and I would say these are really good weapons to use because you want to make sure that you get the kill before the other person obviously kills you and then you can move on into the map, pick up a weapon and carry on with the game mode. Having said that, if you prefer using another pistol, let's say the M9 or the uh, M1911 if you have that unlocked if you're a veteran status, then feel free to go ahead and use it. It's whatever you feel comfortable with, so don't go ahead and change what you'd normally use for your handgun in, say, normal game modes like Conquest or Rush, just because it's a different game mode. You're going to be trying out loads of different weapon combinations anyway, so you may as well stick with a handgun that you're familiar with. Okay, so moving on to tip number two, we're going to talk about utilising every single weapon that you have available to you. That includes the handgun we've just talked about, that includes grenades, knife, and also weapon pickups off of the ground. It doesn't matter what weapon you pick up, you're going to be able to use it in some form. So let's say you pick up the M98B and it's got the laser sight on it, so easy. You run around the corner, you get a hip fire kill, great. You pick up uh, the SG-533 and then you go around the corner, you get a couple of kills with it, and then you switch out for your handgun, get a couple of kills with that, throw a grenade, get a kill with that. And if you run out of ammo completely, then you go down to your knife, which is easy to just stalk somebody, go up behind them, get the kill, and then carry on. People aren't expecting the knife kill, so it's always a nice surprise when you get one of those, and especially when you get a couple in a row, that's always good fun as well. Okay, tip number three uh, is a real quick one, using the ammo crates. Now, if you've got a weapon that you want to keep hold of, but you're running out of ammo for, find the ammo crate on the map. There is one on every map, there's a video that's been posted up here before for the location, so go check that out, the link will be in the description. But uh, yeah, if you're running low of ammo uh, in the gun that you're using, then all you need to do is find the ammo crate and you can replenish the ammo in the gun. Okay, tip number four is another quick one, enable the squad frag perk. If you have that enabled, your whole squad will have two grenades instead of one, and Sense tells you that if you start with just a handgun, a knife and a grenade, it's better to have two than one, which means you've got more weapons when you start the game. And finally we come to tip number five, which is play the objective. It's fairly simple, if you play the objective you get the gun spawns that are around the objective which tend to be of a higher level than ones scattered around the map. So let's say you've got control of three out of the four flags, you're more likely to pick up a tier three weapon than you are a tier one weapon, which means you're more likely to kill the enemies that are standing in front of you. Alright guys, so that about concludes my scavenger tips guide, I really hope you've enjoyed the video. If you want to watch any more Battlefield 3 related content then don't forget to hop over to my channel, it's youtube.com forward slash thewestie4321. Um, so yeah, I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you again sometime soon.